Hurry, guys! They're closing in 15 minutes! Boom! What the? Closed! Dang it! How am I gonna get Baldur's Gate before tomorrow now? Dude, I keep telling you, your computer's not gonna run that. You're right! I'll need a new computer, too! Ow! That's right. Closed. This shoplift nonsense is really getting out of control! But the news keeps telling me that it's a fake problem! Retail stores like this one are shutting down in major cities all over the country, citing a rise in vandalism and shoplifting as the primary cause. But are these greedy companies just lying about their own bad management? I knew I should have known better than to trust stupid news. Hi, uh, are you really telling people that retail theft isn't happening? If I tell everybody shoplifting is a problem, how does that help me blame big corporations? Isn't your job to tell the truth? The... the what? Ah, <sighs> the truth. For example, a recent study from the Council on Criminal Justice found that New York and Los Angeles both saw over 60% increases in reported shoplifting from mid-year 2019 to mid-year 2023. Now, that's not true everywhere. Some places have seen declines in reported shoplifting over the last few years. And I guess you could cherry-pick those cities to claim retail theft isn't a problem. Okay, I'll just do that then. Uh, but those aren't the places where stores are closing down. Nordstrom, Whole Foods, and another big chain said they were abandoning San Francisco because of theft and threats to employee safety. Target is closing nine stores in New York, Seattle, Portland, and San Francisco, citing the same issues. Starbucks is closing 16 locations on the West Coast, mostly in the same cities. Walmart is also shutting down four stores in Chicago after recently closing its only store in Portland, also citing crime and physical danger to staff. There is also evidence that the total value of stolen goods is a lot higher than in previous years. The share of shoplifting incidents categorized as felonies in five of the cities nearly doubled from about 8% prior to the onset of the pandemic to almost 16% in the first half of 2023. Oh my gosh. Is it really so wrong for people to take stuff they can't afford when greedy capitalists are making millions? Ah, uh, yes. Look, the obvious consequence for tolerating lots of property crime in your neighborhood is that all the shops are going to close down. And if crime pushes these companies out, people in high crime cities are just going to be left with fewer goods and services and limited job opportunities. Yep, and according to a recent Gallup poll, 3 in 5 Americans, or 61%, are already suffering financial hardships because of rising prices. Meanwhile, the National Retail Federation claims that retailers on average saw a 26.5% increase in this type of theft over the previous year. I'm never gonna get my game, am I? Hey, buddy, I heard you wanna buy Baldur's Gate. How's 200 bucks sound? Sounds like a lot for stolen property. Greedflation! Hit that subscribe button, go to fee.org, you'll learn a lot more. We love you, thank you.